Hi again, welcome to another video, and in today's video we're going to be changing the fuel filter on my Mercedes Sprinter 311 CDI 2004. It's developed a problem in the last few days, it's running um, sometimes, it isn't happening all the time, but it's running lumpy on tick over, and it's losing power up hills sometimes. If I stop it and start it again, it seems to correct it. So I'm wondering whether there's muck in the old fuel filter. So I'm going to change it because I've never changed it. I've had this van probably three odd years and I've never changed it and it's long overdue a change. So I'm gonna get it changed. I think it's pretty simple. I'm just gonna unscrew an Allen bolt under here. That should, yeah, release it. Actually, I am just gonna slightly just nip that up again because I wanna um, undo these first. So we've got little Torx to undo them. Make sure I put them out of the way so they don't get lost in little screw bolts things. So that should, I'm going to have to bend them back I think. To clear this. So that'll be that part disconnected. Um, that hose is a little bit perish there but I haven't got any more hose so it doesn't look like leaking so I'm going to go with it so we'll get that off as well might just have to get some grips around that to loosen it a bit it's come off that hose is not very good I'm gonna maybe have to try and find another one of them we'll see but it wasn't leaking so Further down it looks okay. Ideally it does need a new bit. But we'll just see how it goes. Tuck that under there. This bit, there's a clip there. And I think it just pushes that way and then pulls out. That's what I think. But I might be wrong. Might not push it through enough. Let's get that one out of the way. Looks like it'd do that, but I'm not sure. I'll look on the new one. Yeah, I must clip round that outer edge. So I wouldn't have thought that was made to come off because it's sort of. Don't want to break nothing, so I just got to tread careful. Should pull out. I think it's just stuck in there. Bear with me for a minute. I'll be back with you. I'm just going to investigate that a little bit. So I think I've got it moving, and I thought sort of like, yeah, like that. If I can undo this now, we can get the old one out of the way. So that's the old one. We'll have a look at that soon. So the new one can go back in like so. We might as well tighten that Allen bolt now so everything's. in place. Move that off the end, get that one go over. Like I said, I'll probably revisit this and put a new hose on there. Probably we'll just get the socket on there just to tighten that totally up. So we've done that. These bits have just got to be bent over a little bit. We'll get that in there like like that. Get them two screws back in. And 
and as this fuel hasn't got any fuel in it I'm going to fill it up the best I can through there so I'll take the bung out and then we're going to fill that with diesel I've got a funnel yeah. I think it's small enough yeah and we'll keep dribbling it in there just to help it on its way because there's going to be air in the system now so we'll do that and then I'll be back with you when we go to start it I've filled the filter up as much as I can I made a little bit of a mess as well but now I'm going to put that bit back in so now we're ready to style it really I filled up quite a lot kept getting an airlock as it would do because it's only a little hole I'm pouring uh, diesel through but I'll try and start it So just a little trick, um, because when it first started, it got air in the system, you heard it start and then stop quick, and then turn it over and over and over, it wasn't, um, it wasn't starting. I just give it a bit of a boost to some easy start, just to get the engine sort of running to pull the fuel up, and it worked. So yeah, um, just a little tip, problem solved. <laughs> I'll go in the shed and I'll take the old filter, well make a hole and cut the bottom off the old filter and we'll have a look at the condition of that. I would expect it to be in quite a mess. But we'll start this back up again. Hopefully it's not got air in it now. Well, as you can see, it's not running lumpy now. Uh, that's what it was doing, running lumpy, but not always. So on start up in the morning, it was okay. It seemed to be when I used it, as if it was drawing up some muck through the fuel or whatever, or perhaps had water in it. But we'll have a look in that filter and then we'll know. I'll see you in the shed next, and then we'll take this filter apart. So I've got this old filter in the shed now. I'm just gonna drain all I can out of it.
look clean in there but it doesn't mean they're in gunk stuck all in the elements in there see how rusty the bottom's got been on there a long time like I said I've never put one on the van So as you can see I've cut through the fuel filter now and it should just bend away. There it is. What was it like? Oh, it's a bit... oh there goes a the spring. It's a central bit. It's a bit I want to look at if I can get it out. It'll come out I think. See some gunk in there let's just um see if we can pour that into something i'll show you how horrible it was broke it up a bit so it's quite difficult to sort of see but yeah it's a bit manky so i'd, I'd expect it to have seen a bit more muck in there than that there's a few bits that have come out there, but they could be just part of the filter breaking up. There's a bit in there as well. Perhaps that's what actually started to happen, the filter started to break up. Yeah, if I start... Hmm, not really sure. But we'll just pour that out into something and I'll show you how horrible that looks. Very murky in that. But like I said, I expected to see it worse, but we'll know after we test the van out to see whether this was a fault or not. Like I said, it could well have just basically just sort of got clogged up over time. A bit hard to see now I've cut it, but yeah. Certainly need to change anyway. It'd been in there so long, so yeah we'll see how it goes so it's about a week on now since i changed the fuel filter and everything has been running spot on it ticks over well now it doesn't tick over lumpy like it was doing before it revs out well so yeah um changing the fuel filter sorted the problems i had on this van so that was a nice quick fix and um, just before i go i want to mention that i used this to help with the start to draw up the fuel after i changed the fuel filter and what i did i'll explain a bit better as i was cranking it over I was spraying this in there into the air intake it would be different on different vehicles but on this one the air intake is there and it just started it up enough just to draw the fuel up and then yeah as you saw it kicked off and started so yeah that's what i do on diesels when i change the fuel filter and it usually works so uh yeah i'm gonna leave the video there so i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and i'll be along with another video again soon so bye for now